Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good day, Liz Loza. Thank you for being my guest on the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting here live on KYBS out of Dallas. How are you? I am well. How are you? I am so fine and excited to talk with you. I want the audience to know you've got, you're coming to talk about fantasy football. I'm slowly becoming a fan, and this year maybe you can tell us you know, who the sleepers are and the local players in our market and how to get that app. So start with who this year's sleepers are, Liz. Absolutely. Well, at the quarterback position, I think that Philip Rivers is presenting an awesome value. He's actually been, in my estimation, one of the most underrated gunslingers in the league. Last year, he posted 33 touchdowns, which was the fourth most among sing uh, signal callers. And when you consider how many receivers he lost and the carnage that happened around him, those numbers are nothing short of heroic. So I love him this season at the running back position. I like Danny Woodhead. People are afraid because he's 32 and he's coming off of an ACL injury, that he's not going to be durable. But guess what? Any running back can get hurt. And when you look where he's gone to, the Baltimore Ravens, the interesting about thing about them is that last year that offense targeted their running back position through the air the second most times, the second 122 targets for those running backs through the air of any team in the league. That's huge. And Kenneth Dixon, who is supposed to be the sophomore back there, is gone for the season, which means Woodhead has an amazing opportunity. That's the best you can find, right? Opportunity for running backs is huge. Wide receiver, I like Pierre Garçon. He's reuniting with Kyle Shanahan in San Francisco, posted 1,000 yards receiving last year, so I think he has under-the-radar potential. And in Denver, if you're looking for a tight end, A.J. Derby is a very, very sneaky, deep-round pick. Um, he's a natural hands pass catcher. He actually leapfrogged Virgil Green on the team's depth chart towards the end of last year, but a concussion ended his season prematurely. He's going to work out of the slot a lot. Mike McCoy is the offensive coordinator now there, and he has familiarity with and friendliness towards the tight end position, so I expect the Derby will be featured quite a bit. That's a mouthful, and you know your players. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let me ask you, okay, when we talk about local market, what does that mean? Well, Dallas Cowboys, um, amazing opportunity here. From a fantasy perspective, though, there are some question marks because we're not quite sure if Zeke is going to play a 16-game season. Now, if he ends up not being suspended at all, He's my third running back off the board. If, even if he misses two games, he's still my third running back off the board. But until we have more of an idea what Roger Goodell has in mind, it's hard to really glue him into a spot and give you a proper projection because I don't know how many games he's going to play. Des Bryant, always a stud. I do think he bounces back some this year, but... Dallas, because they did so well last year, has a really tough schedule this year. And so Dez is going to see nine of the league's most shut-down cornerbacks this season. I mean, I'm talking, he's going to see Desmond Trufant. He's going to see Richard Sherman. These are tough matchups. So I think from a fantasy perspective, he may not, uh, it may not be an easy of a get as people are thinking it could be. Yahoo Sports fantasy expert Liz, Liz Lowe is here today. You know, they say she took the world by storm when she started her own personal branding site. Liz, before I get, I get to the mobile app, I want to ask you, how many women are as, as articulate about fantasy football as you? And that's a compliment. Well, thank you. And I would say not enough. Okay. <laughs> I love those numbers. <laughs> those are great numbers. And 
okay, to do this, we have to have the app or the app is an accessory for us. Well, so to sign up for a league, all you have to do is go to yahoo.com slash fantasy football, and then you can customize your league, um, the name of your league, the date of your draft, whatever you want to do. And then if you additionally, because we're always people on the go, right? Time is of the essence. We don't have a ton of it. Download the Yahoo Fantasy app on your mobile device so that you can draft from your phone, you can uh, trash talk from your phone, and I think most importantly, you can check out all of our articles and videos via the app because we're always on our phone, right? So you need kind of, I think you need both just to make sure you have all bases covered. I know. You know, it's like our third arm or something like (laughs) that now. You can't go anywhere without that phone. I love it. I love the way you talk football. So I'm going to download the app and... I'm going to be more articulate the next time I talk to you because I like your style. Thank you, Velder. I love yours, too. Thank you, Liz Loza. Thanks for being my guest on the Velder Beebe Show.